Can a malicious actor who happens to know your email address probably from your business card, can he copy that email address or clone it and use it without your knowledge? Let's see how. Okay, so now we're going to be looking at how we can actually go ahead and create this email. And on, on this side of our mail, we do have our email here that we're going to be using. So I'm going to copy this email. And this is where we're going to be receiving the email um, from the from the uh, uh, malicious intent. And we're going, here is where we're going to be seeing if we have actually received an email or not. So let's go right now to the attacker. And what the attacker usually would do is they're going to now try to... Um, enter the wrong order to enter the fake information we're going to say i'm sending my name is zoe bruno and i'm sending that's zoe bruno at ceo.com at zoe.com and um they're sending to and we're going to be entering this email address that is we just copied and the subject is going to be um hello hello is this um payment required okay and the next thing that they will usually want to do is they will go ahead and click on a text editor and click on editor. And the reason is just so that they are able to have this power to control um, basically the text, um, which is nice. So we're going to say um, this email is to inform you that payment is required. Please make such payments to by, by Zelle, for example, to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, for example. And basically, that is what will be entered here. Now, the thing is, uh, since this person in this our example already trusts that the email is coming from zoeix.com, they are more likely to trust the contents of the email. And that's what, what we're going to try to see if that is what will, will happen here. And we're just going to scroll up and see if we're able to send that email. And we're going to say, I'm human, just for verification purposes. And please click on the object that differs from the rest. And so you can see that is the Apple. And we're going to click on Next. You can see here that, again, is the Apple. And we're going to click on Next for verification. Now, once that verification has been done, we're going to go ahead and say Send. And once that sending has happened, you're going to see it says here the email sent was sent successfully. Now, let's go to our temp mail and see if we've successfully cloned and tricked this person in believing that this email is coming from Zoix, actually. So you can see right there. Let's click on that. And you can see that the content of the email has also loaded. Uh, the subject says uh, payment required. And it says this email is to inform you that the payment is required. Please make such payment by Zelle to this number. And you can confirm that it's coming from Zoe Bruno. And this is actually Zoe Bruno's uh, real email, CEO at Zoeix.com. So the answer to the question is yes. Um, someone with a, mal a malicious actor with the right amount of information is able to send email out using your real email without your knowledge. So stay tuned to the next one. Ask your questions in the comment section and I'll be ready to answer. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.